All right, so I'm gonna start with my brake test. I need to build my air pressure up to governor shutoff. I'm gonna do a safe start. My truck's in neutral. I turn my key on up on my dash, my ABS light, and my def light should go on and off. I start my truck, build up my air pressure. Right now my pressure's already built up so that I can hear it. I'm gonna fan it down. I'm gonna raise my RPMs up. Set about 1, 1,100 RPM so I can hear that, that governor shut off. All right, my governor has shut off. We've heard the sneeze. I'm at about 125 PSI. So, turn my engine off, my key back on, I'm going to release both brake valves, I'm going to push my pedal to the floor and hold it, and I should not lose more than 4 PSI in 60 seconds after my initial air loss, my gauge stopped moving, ma'am would you please time me, now for the sake of your video, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10 50, 60, All right, wait for them to tell you, you may continue, cool, thank you. I'm now going to fan my brakes down to 55 PSI, at which point both red light and buzzer should come on, indicating I have low air pressure. My buzzer and light have come on. I'm now going to fan my brakes down somewhere between 45 and 20 PSI, at which point both my valves should pop out. And both my valves have popped out. All right. To do my tug test, I need to build my air pressure back up. So I'm going to go ahead and do another safe start. Build my air pressure. Back right now, the ABS light on my trailer just went on and off. Start my truck. While my air pressure is building up, I'm going to finish my in cap. Over on my side, I should have a fire extinguisher charged in the green. Securely mounted. Back behind me on the side box, I have at least three red reflective triangles and enough spare electrical fuses to operate my tractor. My mirrors are all securely mounted. They're not cracked or broken. They're clean and clear of debris and adjusted to me. My windshield is securely mounted. It's not cracked or broken. It's clean and clear of debris. My windshield wipers are securely mounted. They're not cracked or broken. The rubber blade is not worn, torn, or frayed, and they do work. My washer pump also works. My hands on the lever, so I'm gonna get my left indicator, my right indicator, my high beam indicator, and my four-way indicators all work. All right, man, my city horn, beat, and my air horn, mm. both work. And finally, I'm gonna come over to my heating system, turn it all the way up. Man, my floor heat works. Defroster and my defroster works. Now I can put that back wherever I want it. Hot, cold, anyway. All right. I still don't have air pressure to do my tug test. I'm going to go ahead and raise my RPMs up. just building up. I'm going to grab my wheel chalk real quick so I don't want to run it over. Wheel chalk on the side door right there too. All right. 
right, so I've got enough air pressure. I can do my brake test, finish it up. I'm gonna do my tug test. I'm gonna release my tractor valve. Put my truck into gear. Give it a little tug. My trailer brakes are holding. Release my trailer brakes. Do the same thing. I'm gonna give it that little tug. Man, my tractor brakes are holding. Now I'm gonna check my service brake. I'm gonna roll forward about 15, 20 feet. I want to get up to about five miles an hour. Gently apply pressure to my brakes. Our wheel should not shift. If it does, it could indicate a bad brake. Now you notice the wheel turned. That's yeah. not what they're looking for. All right, we're on a hill. Mm -hmm. That's going to happen. Um, what they're looking for is that wheel to, to, to really shift. All right, so we're good. All right, so that completes my in cab. Now I need to do the outside. Before I get outside, would you help me check my lights? Yes. All right, so I'm going to turn my lights or my engine off, turn my key on, flip my lights on, and then as you're outside, I'm just going to yell out that window with all the lights I want you to check. All right? Okay. Um, we'll go through those on the outside. Okay. How's that? Okay. You don't want to take me yelling out the window, do you? <laughs> all right, so go ahead and hit your pause or your stop. So, marker lights, security mounted, they're not cracked or broken, they're clean and amber in color. Turn signals, four-ways markers, and reflectors. They're security mounted, they're not cracked or broken, they're clean and amber in color. And clear in color. My truck should not be leaning side to side, front to back, indicating I might have a problem with my suspension. I'm going to check underneath for any kind of puddles, such as oil, coolant, or power steering fluid that could indicate a leak. Remember, those are the three fluids we're checking for left. All right, all right, now I'm going to pop the lid. Oh, that side went popped in. And if you would follow me around, I'm going to get this side first. All right, so my coolant hose is securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's no signs of leaks. should be between minimum and maximum. My coolant hoses should all be securely mounted. No abrasions, bulges, cuts, no signs of leaks. My power steering tank should be between minimum and maximum. My power steering hoses are securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no signs of leaks. To check my oil, I will pull it out. Wipe it off, put it back in, pull it back out. It should be between minimum and maximum. And my airlines are all securely mounted. There's no abrasions, bulges, cuts. There's no signs of leaks. Alright, get my suspension, my front, rear, spring mounts, and my U-bolt and saddle. They're all securely mounted, not cracked or broken, there's no missing hardware. My spring itself is securely mounted, it's not cracked or broken, there's no missing parts and there's no signs of shifting. My shock absorber is securely mounted, it's not cracked or broken, and there's no signs of leaks. My steering, I've got my gearbox, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no missing hardware, no signs of leaks. My pitman arm, drag link, upper and lower steering arm, and my tie rod, they're all securely mounted, not cracked, vents or broken. They're secured by castle nuts and cotter pins, and my joints should not be loose or damaged. My brakes, my airline is securely mounted, there's no abrasions, bulges, cuts, no signs of leaks. And between my drum and my lining, there should be no debris or contaminants. My tires, I want the same size and type across the axle. I want my tread to be evenly worn with at least 430 seconds. There should be no abrasions, bulges, cuts on any side of my tires, and they should be inflated too, between 100 and 110 PSI. I'm gonna check that at my valve stem with an air gauge. My valve stem and cap is securely mounted, it's not cracked or broken, and it's fully accessible. Rims are securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no illegal welds or drill holes. And my lug holes should not be out of round. My studs and lugs themselves are all present. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There should be no shiny thread or indicating one might be loose. All right, come down the hood. I can close that now if I want to, or I can leave it open in case I want to go back behind myself and check my shit. My turn signal four-way marker light is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It's clean and amber in color. My mirrors 
are securely mounted, not cracked and broken, no missing hardware, the glass should be clean and clear of debris. My batteries, cables, and posts are all securely mounted, and there should be no excessive corrosion. My def tank and cap securely mounted, it's not cracked and broken, there should be no signs of links from my tank or my line. Coming on back. help. My fuel tanks are, and caps are all securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no signs of leaks from my tanks or my fuel lines. My tractor frame and cro uh, cross member here, <clears throat> member, I'm stuttering. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no missing hardware and no signs of any illegal welds or drill holes. All right, we'll get into my coupling. Like, sir, I'm sorry, emergency service and electric lines are all securely mounted. They're not cut, cracked, or chafed, worn, torn, or uh, taped. There's no signs of pinching or kinking. They should all be hanging high enough so they're not dragging. And there's also no signs of leaks. My connectors are all seated and sealed, properly locked into place, and there's no signs of damage. Good so far? All right. I've got my apron. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My fifth wheel skid plate is securely mounted to my platform. It's not cracked or broken, no missing hardware. It's properly greased and there should be no space between that skid plate and the apron. On the inside of my platform, I have my locking pins. Securely mounted in the lock position. My release arm, release handle, pull handle, whatever's easy is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. It's also in the lock position in the seat cluster. Underneath, I've got my king pin, securely mounted, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. And my locking jaws should be in the lock position, securely wrapped around my king pin. All right, let's get our trailer. On top, I've got a marker light. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean and amber in color. My reflective tank, securely mounted, fully visible. My trailer frame is all of my cross members. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, no missing hardware, no illegal wheels or drill holes, and there's no holes in my floor. My landing gear, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, that handle should be in the cradle, my sand shoe should be all the way up. There should be enough space to make a safe turn. All right, my marker light, turn signal four ways. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean and amber in color. My sliding tandem is securely mounted, not cracked or broken. My locking pins and release handle are all in the locked position. ABS light should be securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean and amber. My marker light is securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean and red in color. Up top, I got my marker lights. Down here, I've got my tail lights, turn signals, four ways, and brake lights. They're all securely mounted, not cracked or broken. They're red in color. I reflect the tape. Securely mounted, it's fully visible. And then just go down the other side and get your other four lights. Do them all the same. Marker lights, Marker securely lights. mounted, not cracked or broken. Red. Marker turn signal, four ways, securely mounted, not cracked or broken. Clean and amber. Marker light. Yep, up top. And the one by the door. Ladies and gentlemen, me here, Donald R. Free.